Ray Dynamon, uh, it is uh, September or October 26, 2021. I'm here in Reedland, Iowa. There's the, uh, the library, and I'll go up through the sunroof, and you can see the water tower. See my dad's gold Escalade here. I borrowed the last two days. Prior to today, and here, I, this is uh, paper I've been using for the last few days. You can see here. Twitter.com forward slash W-A-D-E-H-E-I-N-E-M-A-N-4-4. Uh, I got a new paper underneath here. But uh, I live one half mile north of Fairbank, Iowa on V68, 1809 W Avenue. Um, I forget what this says here. My only phone calls basically in the last several weeks until the last couple days um, were to Fayette County Sheriff's Department. And I called UNI, um, and I called the scrapyard a couple times. I called my mother once, like after September 13th. And then in the last couple days, I've talked to my mother. Um, no, I didn't talk to my mother on the phone. Um, anyway, I made a few calls, but they were all personal business. They weren't any personal calls to anyone. Green eyes. Here's my housing inspector shirt. Um, I'll explain that Chicago Cubs uh, coat a little bit later. There's uh, one set of license plates. The other set's right there. There's Reedland Main Street. Um, this is my old jean jacket. And I wore this a lot uh, between 2018 and 2019. Um, I'm not 100% sure this is the exact same jacket I had before or if the frauds switched it at some point. But um, this is the one I've had for the last two, three years, I think. And uh, I wore it a lot. My de denim jacket I wore a lot in 2018, 2019, so it got worn out, obviously. But... Um, so there's the old one. Twitter.com forward slash W A D E H E I N E M N 4 4. Um, and it says on there, not able to log into Facebook or email since 9.28, which is still true. I hadn't logged into uh, my Gmail account until just now. I haven't emailed anyone, I just logged in. So I could upload this video. That's basically what I do on YouTube or on my Google account is to load videos. Get out once here and show that I'm here. Actually here in town. So there's Main Street. Twitter.com forward slash W-A-D-E-H-E-I-N-E-M-N-4-4. There is the library. New paper says, what does it say there? I don't like wearing these anyway, but oh, I hadn't had a vehicle since uh, September 13th, other than the tractor. Um, so I was stuck at home pretty much the whole time, except when I went to get groceries. I took the tractor into Fairbank to get the groceries. My face is looking pretty rough today because last night. Yesterday when I was went to I used this Escalade yesterday. It was the first time I had it uh, a vehicle since September 13th. I haven't been in any of these vehicles since from September 13th to the 25th of October. Just the the tractor, um, and I haven't been in anyone else's home other than my own and my parents' red and white barn home since uh, 2016. So anyone else that's claiming that I had some kind of uh, connection with them is a lying fraud, but it's been indicated many times. Um, you don't know who it is, but it's been indicated that it could be black or Hispanic person. I've had no, no, no connection 
to any black or Hispanic people since 2006. That's just a fact. I'm not racist. I'm just saying that it's been since 2006 that I had any kind of personal connection to any black or Hispanic person. Uh, I live in a 95% white, you know, rural Northeast Iowa. It's 95% white people. That's just the facts. Um, so I borrowed Parents Gold Escalade yesterday and today. Um, frauds broke into the shed yesterday when I was gone from noon to about 9 p.m. And uh, uh, they sabotaged the gas tank on the tractor. So there was gas all over the floor when I went back um, on uh, last night when I got home about 9 p.m. I was by myself the whole time as usual, and I cruised uh, on San Martin in Waterloo to try and get the truth out. That's why I go there. Not there to impress upon any individual person. They Once they figure out I'm going there, they'll go there, the, st the frauds will, and try and pretend that I was trying to see them or impress upon them i'm just trying to get the truth out about my life that i don't have any connection with anyone that i'm alone um so they broke in the shed and sabotaged the they broke into the back end of the shed and sabotaged the tractor so there's gas all over so i was breathing gasoline fumes while i was trying to sleep last night and uh, then I was hit with a targeted energy attack, probably due to some stage lie about yesterday. I was by myself. I drove to uh, Amish store first, then to Independence. And I did a few things in Independence. I hadn't had a vehicle to drive at all since September 13th. Um, got a few things done in Independence. And then I went to Manchester to apply for a job that I uh, worked for, same place in uh, 2016, 2017 for a short period of time. And while I was there, there was an old man that I pulled up to the gas pump and an old man immediately starts talking to me about siphoning gas. I've never siphoned gas in my life. Um, I The thing that these frauds do is something I'll search online. They'll take it and misinterpret it uh, either they're so stupid that they can't figure out there's another use for siphoning, which was, I was looking up greenhouses for the last three weeks. I've been looking up efficient ways to run greenhouses and houses, um, how to uh, get um, the, you know, the most out of your solar uh, uh, power, not just, uh, not just, uh, photovoltaics but other different solar methods and geothermal different ge geothermal um techniques and some of my own thoughts on it so that's why i looked up siphoning it wasn't for gas it was for water and i still get indications about tires i don't know what that's all about i wouldn't there was indication i stole tires or something uh, if I was going to steal something, it wouldn't be tires, and I'm not a thief to begin with. So uh, the people break in for the last seven years and then claim I stole things that are my own, and all my iPod is missing too. Both of them are missing, the large one and the small one. I had a nano iPod uh, that's silver and a black and silver one, a uh, large one. They're both missing now. Uh, I don't know if I... You know, it's possible I threw them in one of the, my boxes, but if uh, a fraud has claimed it, then he's obviously a criminal. I'm Wade Allen Heineman, born 11471. Twitter.com is where I've been posting. Twitter.com forward slash W A D E H E I N E M N 44. Um, and then I'm going to post this on my YouTube. And there's a space between. Wade Heineman and 44 on my YouTube. W A D E H E I N E M N space 44. Um, what else do I got here? Um, so the gas inhalations you can see in my face. Uh, I didn't get very good rest, and uh, it, the inhaling gas while I was trying to sleep affected my 
health for today. I, I'll recover it from it, but it did affect my health. Uh, in the case of something staged with one of my jackets, obviously when frauds are watching you all the time and they have access to your home when they break in for seven years, they can either say something with your clothes that you you know left in the home. I'm not 100% perfect of taking things with me and that Chicago Cubs coat was left in my closet um, 100% of the time at home until about a month or two months ago and then i started taking it with me that chicago cubs coat i bought in it was between 2011 and 2013 and uh, i bought it because every all of my friends and all my family were cubs fans so i thought that'd be a way and another way we could connect if i became a cubs fan so i bought that jacket thinking that would help um and then my brother bought a similar one um and he was always a, he was a Cubs fan before I was, but all of my family were, and all of my friends were. So I was trying to become a fan, Cubs fan, and then we went. I went to Chicago uh, with Tim Gouliash and uh, a friend Ted. Uh, his name's Ted. Uh, that was a friend with Tim Gouliash. Tim Gouliash, I had to cut off contact with in early 2017, as I said before. But we went on a, a, a we went to watch the Bulls uh, in the winter, and I wore that coat. And I don't remember what year it was. It was between 2011 and 2013, and it wasn't that important to me to remember something like that, you know. So, but there's my housing inspector shirt again. So I don't know what they've staged with any of my jackets, indications that I'm female in some way. So maybe a female wore one of my jackets or maybe they traded this jacket, my jacket for a female that had a jacket like this. I don't know. This one seems to fit wider in the shoulders than my old one did. My old one was like felt tighter in the shoulders and I thought it was because this one just loosened up, but I mean, these people have been at staging things for a long, long time in my life. So I don't know. I, maybe I didn't notice because a couple of years there, I didn't wear it much. I don't, I change things a lot. Like I wore sunglasses at night in 2016, 2017, a few times. And then I haven't worn sunglasses even during the day since 2017. Almost not at all. Only for photos this recently. So... Updated my driver's license in Old Wine today, and while I was there, a fraud uh, was standing next to me and said he just got into town five minutes ago. Um, so I don't know who that, you know, I don't know what they're trying to portray that way, that I was out of town. I haven't been outside of the state of Iowa in the last two, three months, um, and actually more than that, but I'm just being conservative. And the last time I was out was a few, just like, three or four hours um in the spring i bought i bought a or i paid for a houseboat at that time and i haven't been able to follow up on that because i don't have any money but it was a it's a you know it wasn't a it was, it was not a great one but my plan was to 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 either sell it or use it as my home uh, my my first thought was to use as my home, but uh, due to frauds, I haven't been able to get that off the ground. Um, my hair and weight vary, obviously, with circumstances. You know, I'm not trying to fool anyone with my hair. Either I wet it down and slick it back, or it, it's going wild. It's kind of halfway in between today. Um, updated my Twitter bio biography on 1025 and... Uh, with the aspect of my theory of the universe that 95% of dark matter is un, uh, is unidentified by scientists in the world. And uh, my uh, theory st states that in around 2016, 2017, uh, I was of the opinion that they are floating photons after light loses its energy because light is both a particle and a wave. Never been attracted to a male, never will be. Natural male, heterosexual, Wade Allen Heineman, only been posting on Twitter 
No access to Facebook, email, YouTube since 928 until today. Signing off, Wade Heineman, Reedland, Iowa.